everybody welcome back to my channel um, I did a tutorial this is not the tutorial even though I have filmed the tutorial for this one and I'll be posting that later this week but I forgot to do the intro to the tutorial that's coming up using this Lorac uh, Pro 2 palette this is the first time I've used it and I actually got the first one too and I haven't used this one yet so I'll be messing with this one as well but I decided to try this one first and in the pictures which I'll post at the beginning of this video um, for some reason the when the photos came out it looked like a like dark gray and silver type look but actually what I did was there are some grays in there I used the navy it's more of like a navy smoky eye and then I use some of the grays to smoke it out a little bit but here's the palette in case you haven't seen it yet these colors are gorgeous and I love just the packaging this gray packaging is just awesome but anyways um, if you want to see how I did the look keep watching also at the end of my video I did a outfit of the day um, this is the first time that I've done like a video of my outfit of the day so I apologize in advance if it's kind of funky um, eventually I'll learn how to do them perfectly and it is a plus size uh, outfit of the day just so you know I am um, six foot tall and a full figured lady and so that's pretty much it so if you want to see how I did the look keep watching Alright guys, the first thing I did, as usual, is prime my eyes with my Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. And the first thing I'm going to dig into with this really huge fluffy brush is Nectar. And that's just going to go on the crease area and that's just going to help transition everything and also warm up the uh, look a little bit. Uh, we're using a lot of cool colors so I just want a little bit of warmth and yeah so that's pretty much it all right the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a smaller fluffy brush and I'm gonna go in with charcoal and cool gray I'm gonna tap that off and I'm gonna keep that in the crease but just right here And if you have to, go in and get some more product. And then the next thing I'm going to do is get my rag. And I'm going to clean that brush off. And I'm going to use that later. And I'm going to go in with a pencil brush like this. And I'm going to go in with navy. And this stuff is potent, so I'm going to do the outer V. Like that. And then I'm going to go on with my fluffy brush that I just cleaned off. And I'm going to diffuse that a little bit. And I'm going to pull it in just about a fourth of the way onto my lid. And then pull it up some. I'm going to go back in with the cool gray and go over the edge right here uh, where the navy is just to diffuse it a little bit. Next I'm going to go in with the fl uh, flat paddle brush and I'm going to use silver and that's going to go on the lid. and bring it a little bit over where that navy is and 
And then I'm going to take what's left of the navy on that pencil brush and I'm going to drag that on to the bottom lash line but keeping this area clean. I'm going to take a little bit more navy and put that out on the inner corner or the outer corner to deepen that up some. Go back in with my fluffy brush and blend it out a little bit more. Then I'm going to take another pencil brush and I'm going to go in with light brown and I'm going to run that along the bottom lash line just below the um, navy. And I got some fallout so I'm going to clean that up. I'm going to take what's left on my paddle brush that had the silver on it and that's going to go on the bottom lash line but on the inner corner part. Then next I'm going to take a little itty bit, oh, wrong one. I'm going to take an itty bitty paddle brush, just a tiny one, and I'm going to go in with snow. And that's going to be um, my inner corner highlight. So that just goes near the tear duct. And then I bring it up a little bit. Next is my brow bone. And the brow bone, I'm going to use my usual brush. And I'm going to go in with beige. And that is going to be the brow bone highlight. Next, I'm going to take this glitter liner from NYX. And it is... What color is this? Gunmetal. And it's the Liquid Crystal Liners. And so that's going to go on, and I'm not going to line the inner corner of my eye. I'm just going to get just a little bit of that on the brush and just kind of dab it on the inner, you know, where the tear duct area is. And just a tiny bit down here. And that's just going to make the inner corner brighten up some. Alright, next I'm going to do my liner. So what I'm going to do is do my top and bottom waterline with my Milani liquid eyeliner in black. Do a wing liner with my prestige liquid liner. Put on a pair of false lashes. And then the mascara that I'm going to be using is my full exposure Smashbox. And I will be right back. Alright, so lashes and liner are done. Now it's time for the lips, and also I did my contour and blush and whatnot uh, before I did my eyeshadow just for time's sake, but um, the blush that I used this time was the Clinique uh, Peach Pop, and it's one of the Cheek Pop uh, blushes, and I don't really like these. I thought I was going to love them, and you really have to dig in to this to get any color, and as you can see, there's hardly nothing there so that's my two cents on that all right lips I'm gonna lip do some lip liner that I got I'm sorry lip primer it's the cargo HD picture perfect lip primer it's um, a sample that I got and this is the first time I'm trying it it comes with this doe foot applicator which is interesting so let's try it out Um, it's kind of like, oh, it smells awful, but it goes on like a lip gloss. 
feels kind of gritty, but just a tiny bit. So I'm going to let that sit. Oh yeah, I got dry really quick. Alright, so lip liner. This is a NYX lip liner in rose. I'm just going to line my lips and fill them in. Alright, I am never going to use that lip primer again. It just totally dried my lips out. I wouldn't recommend it. So I'm going to use this Wet n Wild lipstick. I don't know what the color is because this one is one of the older ones before they started putting names on it. It's 901B. I think the new ones have a name and then they also have a number, but it's 901B and it's just a pink, baby pink. Lip gloss, I'm using a NYX Butter Gloss, and this one is in Peaches and Cream. Alright, so that's the finished look, and if you want to see my outfit of the day, then just stay tuned, and that's coming up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like if you like this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!